So hey everybody, it's Mickey. You know, this is the time of year where we are heading back into our homes. It's back to school time and we are stocking our shelves for fall. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you some really easy meal prep, my Walmart grocery haul and the meal plan for the week. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So I created my meal plan and I ordered my groceries last night. So I am headed to Walmart today to pick everything up and to do some meal prep for the week. You know, Walmart continues to be my go-to spot for a grocery pickup and remains a part of my weekly routine. So I'm back from Walmart picking up my groceries. This is pretty much a typical week's worth of grocery items for us. I usually spend anywhere from like $90 to about $140. Today, I think I spent 126 and change. Now that we're going into fall a little bit, every week I'm gonna be picking up, you know, a few extra items to add to my pantry so that I can start to stock that up a little bit more for, you know, those heavier recipes that you usually make in the fall, like your stews and your chilies and all those kinds of things. So today is Monday. Monday has always been grocery day in our house and my routine has been on Sunday afternoon as I'm planning out my week and I'm creating my meal plan. Um, that's when I've been ordering my groceries, usually from Walmart in our area. They definitely have the better price and they have a really good selection. There's only been probably a dozen times where I've had to um, substitute something that I really needed for a recipe and I find that their quality is really good and I think their shoppers are really good. I think I've only um, been unhappy with a couple things over that amount of time so if you haven't tried them I really highly recommend them. Let me share with you what I picked up today. So over on this end, I have a half a gallon of skim milk. I have a couple containers of light sour cream. I have a large container here of vanilla Greek yogurt. My husband and I usually eat a little bit of this every day. Um, for cheeses, I have um, some sliced Swiss cheese and some sh shredded mozzarella cheese. This is going to be, of course, I make pizza at least once a week. And for the Swiss cheese, I have a casserole that I'm going to be making. I'll be sharing the recipe with you guys, but it's for um, a Swiss chicken casserole. I've also picked up some Velveeta. This is my favorite quick cheese to, you know, like melt on our... Um, egg and cheese sandwiches in the morning and usually if I make burgers or something I'd like to have this on hand. I have a large package here of some ground turkey. I'm going to be making some meatloaf today for my oldest son. It is his birthday today and meatloaf has always been his favorite meal. I usually make two meatloafs, one to have for dinner and one I'll send home with him so he can make meatloaf sandwiches throughout the week. I have a huge package here of some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'll be using this for a couple different recipes this week. I have some frozen vegetables. The mixed veggies from Bird's Eye are my favorite. And if you've noticed, their packages have gotten a little bit smaller. They used to be, I think, a pound, and they've gone down to like 10 ounces. So for, you know, a regular regular meal so that we can have some at the meal and have a, a few leftovers. We usually do two packages now of vegetables and I have an extra package that's going to be going into a recipe. Here I have about three heads of fresh broccoli. I have some carrots here. Um, I also have a couple green peppers and a white onion. I have a package here of some organic baby spinach. I put this and everything. I add it to, you know, our salads. I add it to our eggs in the morning. Um, anytime I make like um, a pasta primavera, I like to add like a handful of spinach. It's just such a great, good for you vegetable. I try to stick it in wherever I can. 
I have a new package here of Lundberg Wild Rice Blend. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but this is my all-time favorite wild rice. It is so hearty. It has such a distinctive, delicious flavor. And I am gonna be using this in an upcoming crock pot meal. And this is one of the only rices that I use in the crock pot because it is it stands up to, you know, that long cooking time and like the high heat of a high setting and it always comes out perfectly. So I also picked up about four cans of cream of mushroom soup. We use this in a lot of different recipes, of course. I have a container of chicken broth here, a small package of some stovetop stuffing for my Swiss chicken casserole. Football season is upon us, so I picked up some Pepsi for my little refrigerator um, down in the basement where you know we watch our football games. I also picked up a party size bag of Frito Scoops. It's our favorite corn chip. I think they hold up to any kind of dip. They're great for chili. Um, I just really love those. I also have some very green bananas, but that's okay, they will ripen up. I still have, I think, two left from last week so by the time they're gone these will be perfect to eat I also have some celery here I have some beautiful strawberries some frozen blueberries so I also picked up this little um, blender it's like a shake-and-go tumbler for you know like powdered mixes my sister-in-law who is an ICU nurse she made me promise that I was going to start drinking this collagen powder that she recommends she's like she's always chasing after all of us to be a little bit more healthy so i promised her i was going to add this collagen powder into my morning routine so we're going to see how that works for me she promised that i will feel a big difference in about three or four months so i will be back and let you know if she was right or not um, and then the last thing i just bought was um, a container of of gain i usually get my tide pods at um, Costco, but they only have liquid gain at my Costco. So I like to pick up just um, a small container, you know, just to kind of change it up every now and then, you know, with the laundry. So that is everything that I picked up at the grocery store today or at Walmart. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of time, put this all away, and then I'm going to share with you what my meal plan is for the week. And maybe we will do a little recipe. I thought I would share with you guys the collagen powder um, that my sister-in-law recommended to me. Um, it's from Primal Harvest and it's for hair, skin, and joint health type one and three. I'm not really sure what that means. I just order what she tells me to. So she has been taking this for I want to say for a better part of a year and she really thinks that it has made a big difference so I'm gonna give it a try I promise that I would do it um, religiously every morning um, for like three to six months and I will let you guys know along the way um, if it works for me she promises that um, I should feel a difference in about three to four months so I will let you know so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of meal prep for my week. I have two quick recipes to share with you, one of which is going to be meatloaf that we'll get to in just a minute. Right now I'm gonna be making some barbecue chicken strips. I'm going to season them really well and then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce and bake them in the oven. These are great because you can add them to a salad, you can shred them up a little bit and put them in um, you know, between two buns and make like a barbecue chicken sandwich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these here in a nine by 13 pan. I'll season them really well. And then I'm going to cover them in my favorite Sweet Baby Ray's hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna stick them in the oven probably at like around 400 for maybe 40 minutes or so. And then we'll let them cool and pack them up in the fridge for quick meals throughout the week. Even though I'm going to be covering these with barbecue sauce, I want to make sure that they are seasoned really well. I'm going to use some of 
Kinder salt, pepper, and garlic seasoning. I have some minced onion here, some Mrs. Dash, and some garlic powder. Then I will be using at least three quarters of the bottle of hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. Then I'll cover the pan with some foil and bake it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I just took the barbecue chicken out of the oven. I'm gonna let this cool a little bit and let the sauce thicken back up. And then we are going to divide it and add it to the refrigerator. So I'm gonna be making some meatloaf today for dinner. It's going to be especially for uh, my oldest son whose birthday is today and meatloaf is his favorite. So I have about three pounds of ground turkey in this big bowl, but first we are going to um, puree some green pepper and onion and carrot and make some homemade breadcrumbs. So in the bowl of my little mini Cuisinart here, I am going to put in some onion and we're going to process this to like it's almost pureed and we're going to add it to our bowl. We're also going to add a little bit of green bell pepper, about a half of a medium sized pepper should pretty much do ya. Then I'm going to add a little bit of some shredded carrots here and we're going to process them until they're almost pureed. And to this as well, I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic. We're gonna be making our own breadcrumbs for this. I always seem to have like, you know, like a half of a loaf of bread in the pantry that's, you know, just gone a little stale. I like to hold on to it for recipes like this where I want to make my own breadcrumbs. There's really no comparison to uh, ones you make on your own and the kind that you can buy in the store. I think it's a great to have a little bit of both in your meatloaf recipe. So I'm just going to process these a little bit and add them to my bowl. To our big bowl, I'm going to add some salt, pepper, and garlic. This is that Kinder's seasoning blend that I have been using and really loving. So we're going to add some of that to it. I'm also going to add a little bit of dried ranch mix. Even though we have some onion in there already, I'm going to add a little bit of minced onion just to intensify that flavor a little bit. Of course, we're going to add some Mrs. Dash, some garlic powder. I'm also going to add some dried parsley. A shake or two of red pepper flakes. Now for these exact amounts I can't really tell you. I really never measure. I just kind of toss it in there until it looks just about right. So just go by your heart. Whichever, Whenever you think that you've put enough seasoning, seasoning in there then you have. So I'm also going to add some Worcestershire sauce. A couple shakes of that. And I'm going to hand, put in a handful of Pecorino Romano cheese. There we go. I'm also going to add in just a little squirt of barbecue sauce. And I have two eggs here. And I also have a container of, let's see if you can see that, of breadcrumbs that I'm going to add in a little bit at a time, only if I need them, because remember I have those homemade breadcrumbs already in there. So we're gonna start to mix and see where we end up. So I have a 9 by 13 pan here and I'm going to be making two meatloafs and I'm just going to be putting them into the pan this way. So I'm just going to start with about half of our meat mixture and we're going to just form it into a loaf.
Okay, so we are going to cover these with some tin foil. I'm going to cook it for about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. We're gonna take the foil off and then we're gonna put our special um, brown sugar and ketchup sauce on top. For the magic glaze or sauce that goes on top, I call it that because that's what my kids used to call it when they were little. You're just going to put, I don't even know how much ketchup in a bowl. You're gonna give it a little squirt of some Worcestershire sauce and you're gonna put in a little brown sugar. And that all depends on how sweet you want your glaze. If you don't want it as sweet, just put a little bit in. I'm gonna put about, about that much in. And then you just mix it up. You can add some Dijon mustard if you have it. Um, or what's really good in here is if you have a little bit of honey mustard, that's also really good. So this is our sauce that we're going to lay on top after it's been in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. We'll take the foil off and let it bake for a little while longer. I make meatloaf with ground turkey, but of course you can make it with ground beef or even ground bison. This is a great meal prep recipe because not only can you have it with mashed potatoes and vegetables, that's the way we like it the best, you can make meatloaf sandwiches throughout your week for lunches or a quick meal. So I thought I would take a minute and just share with you what my meal plan was for the week. Um, if you like this little printable here, I will leave a link to it down below. This is just one that I made myself. Um, it's the one that I use every week to plan out my meals. I'm also going to put in a few photos along the way so you can see what our meals looked like. So on Monday, I made meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and veggies. On Tuesday, we had a barbecue chicken, coleslaw, and pasta salad. As you saw earlier in the video, barbecue chicken is one of those things I like to prep for lunches for the week as well. They make a really quick dinner at night and a really yummy lunch during your week. Wednesday, we had raviolis and salad. Thursday is my favorite day of the week. It is leftover day and Friday I made creamy spinach, tomato, chicken pasta. Saturday I had pretty much the whole day to myself so I decided to make homemade pizza and I made some chicken soup to go along with it. And then Sunday we had brunch out. So that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching today's fall meal prep, grocery haul, and meal plan video. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.